Welcome everyone to the sixth Celebrity Snooze Street Chart Reading where I will be looking into Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Adeline. I look at the dynamic between two celebrities using astrology, specifically Sinistry. For those new and returning, I take notes on a Sinistry chart looking at the personal planet, signs, aspects, and if birth time available, house overlays. I share these notes and add my extra insights and interpretations along the way. And of course, as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below and let's get a discussion going. So if that sounds good to you, like, subscribe, and keep on watching. Starting off with the sun, we have Johnny's sun in Gemini and Winona's sun in Scorpio. Both are different from each other, both want different things from life, and they're attracted to these differences. Johnny does not get as easily involved. Winona may think of jo Johnny as superficial and childish. Johnny may think Winona is demanding and insatiable. Winona has a tendency to to become emotionally involved and attached. That could be why Johnny may see Winona as being too demanding because she's emo emotionally invested. Both need to try to make differences complementary rather than interfering. Johnny's son in Winona's seventh house overlaid. It's a love-hate relationship. I definitely see that <laughs> with what we saw before. Can see where the hate comes in. They feel united together. They're deeply moved by each other. They can both get into each other's heads. Both get a sense that they are complementary. Okay, so we're seeing this is a bit of a complementary relationship. We're seeing this aspect again. Both are subconsciously trying to prove they are separate from the relationship. Interesting. I know they were like a celebrity couple. Like, obviously, they were in the public eye. Why we're talking about them today. But I don't know how much of a celebrity couple they were, whether they were identities were actually merged with each other, because I do know both of them as individuals. Both feel the other's a big presence in their life. Both need to find a balance to make the relationship work. We're seeing again, they need to sort of come up with a sort of balance, a way to balance each other out and work with the differences they have. Both may be driven to express themselves in extreme ways. Okay. Possibility of their personalities being lost here. Okay. Winona's son in Johnny's fourth house. There's a sense of familiarity. Johnny trusts Winona deeply. There is a strong desire to live together. I'm not sure if they did, but it's there. Johnny feels secure around Winona. I assume this is because like, you know, maybe he does feel conflicted about her being emotionally invested. Maybe he does, you know, have some tendencies of not appreciating it, but that could also make him feel a bit secure around her. Winona feels they belong together, and Winona is very protective of Johnny, which I'm pretty sure she did, like, with all the recent stuff happening with Johnny, Winona did, like, speak up for him. Both are committed to each other. Johnny's son, Shrine, you known as Uranus. They start as friends. I have no idea how they met, so I'm going to just roll with this. Johnny inspires Winona. Frequent changes occur in the relationship. They get each other's humor. It's a relationship of, of experimentation. Encourage each other to be themselves. An interesting and progressive relationship. There is strong attraction, especially from Johnny's side. Winona is attracted to Johnny's sense of isolation. That's interesting because hmm, Johnny thinks of Winona as inspiring and exciting. So it's nice to see they're both like sort of inspired by each other and they both really seem to value each other and think highly of the other. Winona tries to keep the relationship interesting. Johnny may, be th may feel threatened by Winona's need for freedom. That's interesting because the whole emotional dependency thing, like Johnny not being into that, or feeling conflicted about that, you would think, like, that wouldn't be the case, but maybe we'll see more of it. Both need to encourage the other's independence. Winona's son sextile Johnny's Mars. They motivate each other. I don't really see that. If they're, like, inspiring each other, I'm sure they motivate each other as well. They give each other space. Okay, so it's good that they do encourage their independence. Johnny seems to be conflicted about it. Like, the initial vibe I'm getting from Johnny especially is that he seems to be very conflicted in this relationship, but Winona seems to know what she wants so far in this relationship and sort of has her, is invested in this relationship as well, so 
they have different hobbies. I guess we see the differences here, or specifically what makes them different from each other. Winona admires Johnny's drive, so we're seeing again the whole being inspired by him. Can further the other's goals? I'm not surprised. I don't know if they did any movies together. Like, as far as I know, they were just a couple that just so happened to be in Hollywood. I don't know if they had any movies together as such, though. But, you know, they're in the same career, so it's not that surprising. Both give the other confidence. I definitely see that. Participate in activities together. What a surprise. Neither feels blocked. I definitely see this because Johnny, he, you know, with him, like, thinking that Winona is a bit too demanding and, like, sort of being threatened by her need for freedom. Like, that part. Okay, that part's not really blocked. But what I'm saying is I don't feel like he feels very blocked in this relationship. He seems very conflicted, which... I feel conflicted, you can never really feel truly blocked by someone, you know, it's just you're debating with yourself. They're straightforward with each other and tend to get annoyed with each other. I'm not surprised, like we saw the whole with their sun signs. Winona's son, Sextile Johnny's Uranus, start as friends, we're seeing it again, so I'm assuming this is how they started, they had a bit of a friendship first, this is a relationship of freedom. Winona is attracted to Johnny's originality, so Winona seems to really look up to Johnny in this relationship, enjoy intellectual conversations together, both encourage the other to be themselves, so they definitely, yeah, I, because we saw the thing with the beginning, how they're both very different from each other. And I know we saw with the overlay that their personalities get mixed into the relationship, but so far we're seeing that seems to be very much overpowered. Like both of them seem to be, have a lot of freedom in this relationship, have independence and can be themselves here. Frequent changes occur. I'm pretty sure we're seeing again. Winona finds Johnny to be inspiring and exciting. Both are willing to experiment with new things. So... This is, I, we're seeing a lot of repeats here so far. I don't want to keep being a record player. Oh, we're seeing this again, we're seeing this again. Winona may feel threatened by Johnny's lack of limits. Okay, so both of them are a bit threatened by each other's, like, need for freedom, we see. Interesting. Both have a strong attraction to the other. Johnny keeps the relationship exciting. I'm pretty sure we saw this from Winona's side. Johnny keeps the relationship exciting. I'm pretty sure we saw that from Winona's side. Relationship works best when both encourage the other's independence. We see again, and they seem to be kind of successful at it. Winona's son, sextile Johnny, is Pluto. There's a strong connection. They're more powerful together. Okay, so maybe because we were seeing before, like with the sun in overlay in the seventh house, how, like, they're both very much attached as a couple, but everything else we've seen so far, they seem to really hold their own ground anyway. So I'm assuming this is what it relates to. They're more powerful together as a couple. They comfortably share secrets and explore each other's depth. They're drawn to each other in a magnetic way. Now it's on to Moon. So we have Johnny's Moon in Capricorn and Winona's Moon in Pisces. They have different emotions and moods. Winona may be hurt by Johnny's detached nature. Interesting, because we saw in the beginning how Winona is more emotionally attached. So I'm assuming she's the more attached one to this relationship and Johnny's more detached. Johnny may see Winona as too invested in issues that she shouldn't be invested in. Winona wishes Johnny would be more empathetic and affectionate. Oh, that's sad. It's just very sad because, like, I so far we've seen that there's nothing, like, Johnny seems to be very much interested in Winona. We're not seeing anything to contra contradict that. But he does seem to be very conflicted. I wonder if we're going to see a bit more why he feels conflicted, possibly. Johnny's moon in Winona's first house. They both feel safe expressing feelings to each other. Johnny feels immediately safe with, Win with Winona. I'm pretty sure we see again, which is weird because he doesn't see, he seems to be a bit conflicted in this relationship. Johnny brings out Winona's sensitivity. It's a tender and warm relationship here. Yeah, I see that it's just there's a bit of like conflict on Johnny's side and like generally with both of them it seems to be like a both seem to be maintaining their independence and their individuality in this relationship as well. Winona's moon in Johnny's eighth house. Johnny can go deep into Winona's psyche which I'm pretty sure we saw again they both share secrets together and explore each other's depth that are similar. Johnny can awaken Winona's inner demon. So we just saw before how he brings in a more sensitive side to So I'm guessing that Winona just opens up a bit more emotionally and like psychologically around Johnny. There's a deep connection with each other. Winona will desire things in this relationship that are taboo. We just saw how Johnny thinks that Winona is like interested in things she shouldn't be in. So hmm. 
both act out fantasies together, it's an emotionally nurturing relationship. Possibility for this relationship to bring out the darkness. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely think from Winona's side, definitely. Their desire for each other is never satisfied. Interesting. Possibility for them to come back together after a separation. I'm not sure if that happened. Like, I mean, they were together like quite a long time ago. I'm not... Who knows? Johnny's moon squared Winona's Uranus. Johnny is possessive of Winona. Johnny feels emotionally insecure around Winona. I'm guessing this is we're getting to why he feels a bit conflicted in this relationship, which is weird because we saw he does he does seem to feel safe with Winona. However, I'm guessing like he might have some like conflicting with him within himself. Maybe he doesn't. He feels uncomfortable, like, accepting that sort of emotional nurturing from her. Relationship can begin suddenly. Interesting. So we're seeing they were friends first and, like, this relationship began suddenly. So both could be the case. But, yeah, this is the vibe we're getting for how they met. Winona's moon opposite Johnny's mask. It's an emotional roller coaster. I definitely see that from Johnny's side because he seems to be very conflicted. Codependency is likely to occur. Johnny finds Winona to be demanding. We see, again, interesting, both react instinctually to each other. So this is like impulsiveness, like they don't really think before they speak around each other. Defensiveness and nagging it can occur. Bring out the passion in each other, which I'm not surprised. Like they seem to like be very different around each other, which is interesting. Winona wants commitment with Johnny, which I assume that Johnny feels a bit insecure and like sort of not con yeah, like conflicted about accepting that help. Winona's moon opposite Johnny's Uranus. Winona feels insecure with Johnny's unpredictable behavior. I'm worried about him. Like. The energy I'm sort of feeling right now, I'm, it's not bad, but it's definitely like heavy, you know, like it's like, he just seems to be very troubled and like has his issues that he sort of is having trouble with dealing with, which is, you know, totally okay, you know, you need to work for your issues at your own pace, but yeah, that's a sort of, I think this is where Johnny's like sort of, um, I don't want to say negative qualities, but you know, to Winona, they probably are negative qualities. I feel like they are coming from a place of, you know, you know, some mental health troubles or like just having some, like, insecurity with relationships or something like that. Their approach in relationships is conflicting. I'm not surprised. I feel like, yeah, I really see that, like, because Winona seems to be very much, like, stable here like so far we're seeing that she seems to be quite like stable and like really in this and trying to make this work whereas Johnny feels a bit conflicted with this. Johnny's unpredictable behavior brings Winona's past securities insecurities to the surface. Oh dear like yeah they're both bringing their baggage into the relationship aren't they? Unstable as a long-term relationship yeah like it seems a bit like I'm sure they like each other, it's just a bit difficult with um, the differences because I feel like it's very big differences. Johnny subconsciously sees Winona as a mother, oh no, this is like, oh, mommy issues are coming into play, yay, gosh. Johnny is not ready to give all into the relationship, yeah, I assume, I'm guessing from what we're seeing so far, like, he just has some, like, mommy issues he needs to work through. And, I mean, they were both really young at this point. Like, I really hope since then, like, I mean, for both of them. But, like, you know, on Johnny's side, he seems to be more troubled with these issues. I hope, like, you know, he's getting better and, like, getting the help he needs. Because, you know, I don't feel like he's a bad guy. He just seems to be troubled. Meeting may have occurred in an unusual scenario. I mean, if they met in Hollywood, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Johnny sees Winona's sensitivity as limiting. Hmm. Johnny is not as interested in emotional closeness as Winona. Yeah, he seems to be a bit like, uh, like a wall is around him. You know, like he has a bit of an emotional wall around him and like, you know, he can never get through that. Relationship can begin and end suddenly. We see again with the beginning suddenly bit. Winona's moon, Shrine Johnny's Neptune. 
natural sense of harmony, their intuition means they can communicate without words, we saw before they have a pretty big connection a couple times, they both inspire the other, we see again, we know it picks up on Johnny's needs, I'm guessing this is kind of related to Johnny subconsciously seeing Winona as a mother. Bond is based on gentleness, consideration and kindness, their understanding of each other, art is a strong mutual interest, I'm not surprised, both sense each other's feelings, both have a sensitive and mystical worldview, meaning has a mystical nature and both uncover the other's blind spots. Winona's moon opposite Johnny's Pluto, jealousy and emotional manipulation is an underlying element in the relationship. I don't like seeing this and like clearly I mean, more so on Johnny's side, he seems to be, like, struggling and very conflicted in this relationship, but even, like, Winona, like, her darkness, her darkness, so, like, I guess her deeper side is coming out here, so who knows what that is, we didn't see anything too specific. Projecting is a challenging issue, oh no. We'll need to work through power struggles together. Johnny has a controlling power over Winona, I don't like seeing this and that he's possessive. Both need to learn that love and control are separate, unstable and explosive. Winona's need for safety and belonging leads to her being taken advantage of by Johnny. I feel like this is more in the sense of she, I'm guessing, like so far we're seeing she doesn't seem to have any issues with having a stable relationship, she seems to want a very stable and secure relationship. Relationship challenges the individuals, I'm not surprised, especially, like, I mean, both of their sides, because Winona seems to want a secure relationship with someone who's not really ready for a relationship, and then Johnny, he's, has, he's, like, seems to have his own issues. Now we're on to Mercury, so we have Johnny's Mercury in Taurus, and Winona's Mercury in Scorpio, both polarity sister signs. Conflict between Johnny's realism and Winona's lack of it. Both approach problem solving differently. Winona may find Johnny too snobby and selfish. I don't really see the selfish thing. Like, yeah, it's a bit hard with someone who's like, um, has their own issues to work through while they're in a relationship. Johnny can teach Winona how to be more practical. Johnny is frustrated with Winona's impracticality. He seems to be like frustrated with her a bit, like in terms of like her interest and stuff like that, like how she is. Both communicate quietly and Winona can teach Johnny and how to consider feelings. So I'm guessing this probably also relates to maybe Winona does help out Johnny with some of the issues he has. Johnny's Mercury and Winona's sixth house overlaid. Johnny's mind is stable around Winona. Johnny communicates with Winona practically. Winona thinks that Johnny is reliable and Winona sees Johnny as a stable companion. So I'm, I'm guessing this is why Winona, like I was saying before that, you know, John, Winona probably stays in this relationship because she wants like a secure and stable relationship, you know, and I'm guessing this is probably a reason why she stays. She probably does like have, you know, hope that Johnny or does see Johnny as someone like stable and like compatible for her and everything. Winona's Mercury in Johnny's fourth house. Winona's daily expressions are compatible with Johnny. Johnny's comfortable with Winona, we see again, but yeah, there's obviously that sort of, he does seem to have a bit of a wall around him that he's not quite ready to, you know, fully be vulnerable with someone. Both fit well into each other's daily lives, I'm not surprised, like, you know, they have both chaotic careers. Johnny's Mercury opposite Winona's Venus. Winona feels that Johnny does not take her feelings into account, I'm not really surprised, like, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's always hard with someone who's, like, struggling with their mental health. Johnny may see Winona as lacking depth. Conflict between Winona's care and nature and Johnny's detachment, we see again. Johnny can help Winona intellectually, I'm assuming because we were see we're just seeing a lot of how, like, Johnny's very practical and intellectual. I'm guessing this is probably related to Winona's career. Not just Winona's career, but like both their careers and like how they inspire each other. Maybe Johnny is someone who really helps Winona with the, with the craft of acting and whatnot. Winona's understanding of love does not match Johnny's. Yeah, unfortunately. They have contrasting ideas, difference in interests. We're seeing again, there's a bit of a different, different people, which is, you know, fine. Intellectually stimulating relationship. Sometimes both feel the other is self-centered. I'm not surprised. Both are drawn to each other's differences. We see again, conversations may eventually become a source of conflict. 
they cut each other off often, it's a relationship of banter. We saw before how they get each other's humour, so I'm assuming that like a lot of their communication was based around like humour, sarcasm, banter, need to learn how to listen to each other, they misunderstand each other's feelings. I'm not surprised at all. Johnny's Mercury, square we're known as Mars. They challenge each other, their differences cause irritation, debates quickly turn into arguments. I assume this is where like com conversations become a source of conflict. They can quickly get into some sort of debate or argument. Winona has a habit of interrupting Johnny when, like, it's interesting how this and the last aspect we saw, very, like, really match well. So Winona's the one that seems to be cutting off Johnny a lot. Winona tries to force her opinion onto Johnny. Johnny is too critical of Winona. Living together is difficult. We saw earlier, like, once how, what's it called, they, um, live, they have a desire to live together. So I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm not surprised because both of them seem to have very different ideas on like domesticness in relationships. Johnny's Mercury, Trine Winona's Pluto. There's deep conversations, revealing private information and deep dark secrets. We saw before how they reveal or comfortably share the secrets of each other. Therapist-patient relationship. I mean, I don't want to say it's like good, but like... You know, I feel like it's a bit good for Johnny's side. Healing negative beliefs about relationships. I hope this is what Johnny got out of this because, yeah, he seems to have some issues or struggles with that. Winona helps Johnny open up his mind. They can get to the bottom of matters. They both feel very close to each other. Powerful and dynamic relationship. We see again they both, like, they both feel very, like, it seems to be very powerful when they're together. Resolve difficult issues together. Johnny's fascinated with Winona's depth. I assume this is because we're seeing how he kind of do, does seem to see her as a bit shallow. We, we were seeing that before, but I'm guessing because we're also seeing how Winona like very much opens up emotionally and we're seeing like all of the things we just saw with this aspect. It seems like Winona is very open with um sort of helping Johnny with his mental struggles, mental health. Um, so I'm guessing this is why Johnny is like fascinated with this, probably like feels very like, you know, grateful that, you know, she's like sort of trying to help him with these things and she's able and capable and willing. Winona's Mercury squared Johnny's Saturn. Teaching and learning relationship, I'm really not surprised, makes so much sense. Deep respect for the other's intelligent, we were seeing this in the beginning, how they're both very inspired by each other. Winona feels inferior to Johnny, I'm guessing this is more like with age probably, because I'm pretty sure they do have a bit of an age gap. Subtle competitiveness can become destructive. Winona can be int intimidated by Johnny's practicality. We keep seeing Johnny being very practical in this <laughs> relationship and as a person. Serious turns in conversations, negativity and criticism sometimes take over, takes over conversations. So conversations together seem to be a bit of a source of conflict we're seeing continuously. Both people question their role in the relationship. I'm not surprised because both of them like seem to be like more so on Johnny's side he seems to be, feel very conflicted in this relationship but I wouldn't be surprised if Winona is feeling the same way because she seems to want like very much a stable and secure relationship. Winona's Mercury conjunct Johnny's Neptune. Spirituality is an important part of this relationship. Telepathic like connection. We keep seeing this like they have a very deep connection, a very intuitive connection. Winona helps Johnny turn his dreams into reality. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Both can get into the habit of telling the other what they want to hear. Oh, I never like seeing this. This is really bad. I don't like this. Winona may find Johnny confusing, not surprisingly so. Deceptive and exaggerative communication can become a problem. Dude, they can communication kind of sucks here like um, we're not seeing that much of a great communication which is like weird because everything else like kind of seems to be okay kind of poetic quality to their conversations hard to talk about practical matters together I mean we're seeing that like conflicting between Johnny being very practical but we don't know not so much they're compassionate towards each other we see again Johnny may get annoyed if Winona's need to quantify things. I'm guessing maybe like on Johnny's side, he may have like fear 
of like some sort of commitment or fear of being in a relationship. So now we're on to Venus. So we have Johnny's Venus in Taurus and we're known as Venus in Scorpio. We're seeing the Taurus Scorpio sister polarity again. Opposites attract, they're both stubborn, they're both loyal to each other. I definitely see that. They both seem to really be dedicated to each other. We haven't seen anything otherwise. Johnny can help Winona calm down. Both are attracted to the other strong personalities. Interesting. Personalities may clash. We keep seeing this. There's a bit of a strong difference between them. Johnny sees Winona as too complex. Interesting. Like, we're seeing a bit of a different side to Winona as well. Winona sees Johnny as too simple. Interesting. Like, I would have thought this would be the other way around, but I guess we'll see so far more into the reading. They need to find common ground. Yeah, I mean, always good, I guess. Johnny's Venus in Winona's sixth house. Johnny feels he doesn't have much in common with Winona. Neither sees the other as their type. Together as a result of duty or obligation. Helpful and productive relationship, sure. Hmm. I don't like seeing this. Winona's Venus in Johnny's fourth house. Winona feels the need to protect herself from pain and rejection regarding Johnny. Because, like, she seems to really admire him and they start as friends, like, I don't know, it's a bit like, hmm, this is weird. Strong magnetism, Winona has a strong attraction to Johnny. Johnny senses Winona's hesitance, hesitancy. Uncertainty and tension categor characterizes their relationship. I'm not surprised because, yeah, that seems to really be the case, doesn't it? Their Venuses are opposite each other, so they're attracted to each other, but they have a difference in tastes and values. Lifestyles are conflicting. What have I been saying? Decision making together as a couple can be difficult. Neither knows how to instinctively please one another. Social backgrounds may be different. I'm not surprised. I kind of was expecting something like this. Arguments over money, money handling can occur and difference in aesthetic tastes. I mean, this one, I feel like they do have a kind of similar aesthetic taste, I would have thought. I don't know. Johnny's Venus, where we're known as Mars. It's a fiery relationship. There's a strong attraction. Feelings may not always be in conjunct. I'm not surprised. Jealousy and possessiveness occur. Johnny sees Winona as too dominant. Winona sees Johnny as a seductive person with no substance. That's kind of sad. Like, what? I don't... <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit mean to Winona. Both need to confront themselves for this to work. Yeah, I think we saw this before as well. So, yeah. Johnny's Venus, opposite Winona's Neptune. Johnny may prefer to idealize Winona. Oh, don't do this. Johnny is so caught up in love, he doesn't know Winona. Winona doesn't like Johnny's idolization. Johnny goes for excessive trusting. He needs therapy, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like, honestly, both of them, but like, I really feel for Johnny here. He seems to just be very hurt. You just want to, like, give him a hug, don't you? Winona needs to be careful with promising too much. Winona has a hard time being realistic with jo Johnny. We were seeing before how, like, I think it was both of them. Like, for both of them, they get into the habit of, like, telling each other what they want to hear sort of thing. I'm assuming this is coming more from Winona's side. Winona communicates with Johnny artistically or vaguely. Okay, this is why Johnny doesn't feel like she's, like, very practical at all. So, communication, okay. But I find it difficult to stay in this relationship. I'm pretty sure we did kind of see that before. Neither can define what attracts them to the other. I'm not surprised because both of them, like, I'm pretty sure there was something earlier. They don't see each other as their type. And they seem to be very different. Like, not even, like, you're just like, oh, we don't, like, I don't know, the same music. But, like, genuinely their, like, style of, like, relationships and what they expect out of a relationship is very different. Lies can occur to protect from pain. Okay. So it seems to be... Winona seems to also have a guard up a bit, but, like, in a different way. Johnny's Venus trying Winona's Pluto. Emotionally fulfilling relationship? I hope so. They're both consumed by the other, not likely to grow stale. I mean, it doesn't seem to be, like, in a good way, though, you know? Both enjoy growing from this relationship. I really hope so. Johnny sees Winona as a soulmate and Johnny considers Winona to be irresistible. Desire to accomplish something big together. Winona's Venus, square Johnny Saturn. Relationship initially begins with comfort and compa compatibility. Over time, it will become challenging. Yeah. 
Joni fears that Winona will withdraw affection. Oh gosh, this is like, I really feel for him. Winona will eventually withhold affection. Johnny can become critical and demanding of Winona. Interesting how we saw that Johnny thinks Winona is demanding. This is this is where the projecting is a challenge. Winona sees Johnny as unsympathetic. Johnny sees Winona as childish and undisciplined. Both need to maintain their social life. Yes, yeah, so the whole thing with having their own independent lives seems to be a theme here. Both need to be cautious to not get into a negative cycle. Criticism is rooted from jealousy and they're critical of each other's tastes and hobbies. I don't like seeing this because they seem to be very different in that way. So now on to Mars, we have Johnny's Mars in Virgo and Winona's Mars in Aquarius. Johnny has a tendency to be critical of Winona, we literally just saw. Both are experimentalists, so we're seeing that, yeah, being experimenting is a big part of this relationship. Winona enjoys surprising Johnny. I'm pretty sure we did see this from both sides. They both try to keep the relationship exciting. Winona does not give in to Johnny's perfectionism. Maybe this is why Johnny feels that Winona will eventually withhold affection. I don't know. Winona tends to have a superiority complex. That's a bit weird. Winona may not give Johnny the affection he wants. I don't like seeing this and that she eventually withholds affection. Like... Johnny's Mars in Winona's ninth house. There's a strong need to travel together. They have easygoing chemistry. I definitely see this like we saw before how their relationship seems to be like one of Bantan, like humor and everything. Johnny's more straightforward around Winona. Johnny is drawn to Winona. And Johnny feels he can have a good time with Winona. Winona's Mars in Johnny's seventh house. Winona speeds up the relationship. I'm pretty sure we saw something about Johnny getting irritated or annoyed with one of quantifying things. I'm guessing she wanted to like make it official really quickly or something and Johnny, you know, he seems to be very like, um, not adverse to relationship. He seems to be very conflicting with relationships. I'm guessing this is related. Winona is calm around Johnny. She wants to please Johnny. It's a very romantic relationship. They both enjoy spending time together and pleasing each other. Johnny's Mars, Square Winona's Jupiter. They approach romance differently. I'm not surprised. Neither really understands the other. Not surprised again. I'm pretty sure we saw both of them before. <laughs> both enjoy the competitive nature of the relationship. They meet in a fun way. Arguments about who is better can come up. I don't like seeing this. It was seeing this, um, and like they both inspire each other. Like, okay, they're both like sort of in their careers seem to play a bit of a part in this relationship. And we keep seeing, we've seen a couple times already, there seems to be a bit of competitiveness in this relationship. And what Winona feels inferior, but also has a superiority, superiority complex. Like, I don't like all of these combined, and like this argument about who is better can come up. Winona sees Johnny as selfish. I'm pretty sure we see again. Johnny sees Winona's logic as a hindrance. We see again her like lack of practicality. Winona teaches Johnny the value of philosophy. Interesting. Winona's tendency to be overindulgent irritates Johnny. Strong difference in beliefs. Winona judges Johnny's motivations. See, I don't like this. I hope this is referring to something else, not his like you know, he struggle with his, like, mental health and his, like, relationship, relationship issues or, like, issues when it comes to approaching relationships and his, like, sort of, um, conflictions about that. He's in a conflict with relationships. Both tend to encourage each other to do re reckless behavior. Winona may be a bad influence on Johnny, likely to get in trouble together. I don't know if anything came up about them when they were in a relationship, but who knows. Johnny's mask, where Winona's Saturn. Johnny tries to impress Winona. Winona's standards are in conflict with Johnny's efforts. Winona may try to control Johnny as she thinks he is immature. I don't like seeing this. Like, I guess the possessiveness and jealousy is like from both sides, isn't it? Johnny's Mars, square Winona's Neptune. Circumstances in meeting were never understood by one of the parties. I hate seeing this <laughs> in charts. It's never good. Like the relationship as a whole is never great, isn't it? Need honesty to make the relationship work. Yeah. Winona's Mars conjunct Johnny Saturn. Winona sees Johnny as controlling. We saw again. Winona respects Johnny's wisdom. We see again as well. Winona tries to win Johnny's respect. Oh. 
That's sad, especially we saw she feels a bit inferior to him. Both need to be considerate of each other and potential to be good learning experience. I'm glad we're seeing these learning aspects in this relationship because they need it. Winona's Mars opposite Johnny's Uranus challenge each other regarding who is the most original. So I'm guessing the competitiveness is literally in terms of their career. Frequent arguments, I'm not surprised. Like the, co the communication seems to be kind of trash if I'm going to be honest. Winona needs to learn to not take Johnny's actions personally. Uh, yeah, because Johnny seems to be like, he seems to be very troubled, doesn't he? Like, I don't think anything he does is genuinely to hurt her. He just seems to have a bit of like, um, as I've kept saying in this relationship, he seems to just have some struggling with his mental health and like, it's not her fault. My final thoughts. That was a sad reading. It's just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I felt like I've said everything in this relationship. Like, I just, I really hope both of them are doing better. I just really hope for, hope for both of them that they are. I mean, I want to, like, I don't know about one or not. I hope she's doing better. With Johnny at this point in time, like, he doesn't, which is really unfortunate. Like, it's just... I f it's just very sad, isn't it? Because these both of these people, it's like they were attracted to each other and they wanted to make something work and it just like, like couldn't work. Like it's one of those things where it's like, it con contradicts the whole thing of like, all you need is love. Like these two had love and it seems like it just like, it just wasn't working. And it's just, it's really sad because they seem to have like an, deeper connection with each other which is nice but like realistically like with the baggage both of them seem to have mostly from Johnny's side like it just wasn't gonna work was it so yeah that's my final thoughts on the reading and I shared my thoughts throughout the video um yeah if you did enjoy this video it was a bit of a sad one um but if you did enjoy it nevertheless my analysis and the whole reading um yeah, definitely give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more celebrities and history chart readings and yeah i will see you guys next time bye